Welcome to your Care Tutor Pathway LMS Learner Guide. Log in through our pathway.caretutor.org link by inputting your username and password in the relevant fields. You should have received these from your training manager, or you can check your inbox for our welcome email from us. Once you log in, you'll see a list of the training that you've been assigned on your main dashboard. You'll see a menu on your left with the other features, calendar, personal messages, and a link to your own profile. Alongside the courses you've been assigned, you'll see a filter menu where you can filter the course by the category, the status and the tag. Once filtered, this will focus the courses just on the filters you've selected. This is a good way to see which courses are completed and which are still outstanding. You can see an overview of the progress you've made on a course through the status bar. If the bar is all grey, it means no progress has been made, whereas if it is all green then the course is completed and a certificate may be available to download depending on the way your organisation has set your account up. Alongside the courses tab, you might see a tab called curricula and one called learning paths. Please be mindful that you may have courses assigned under these tabs and we will come onto these a little later. On the top right of your courses, you will see a search bar where you can search for the course that you're looking for. Alongside this, you will see an icon that looks like a grid. This will change the way you're seeing the courses on your dashboard to grid view. You can toggle back the courses to drop down mode by clicking the icon to the right of this. The icon um, next to this allows you to group courses by a designated category. At the end, you can see a sort function which allows you to sort the courses in various ways. To access the course, just click on the course you want to start or continue, and that will take you to the course's main dashboard, where you will see an overview on the description of the course at the top, and a breakdown of the course's modules below that. The actual interactive e-learning course is covered in the course content, which once completed will allow you to access the assessment and the feedback. Click the Start or Resume Course button to continue where you left off in the course. The course will then open up in a pop-up window for you and you can click the Begin Course button to start the course. Manual handling is important to many of the... You can also access the burger menu on the top left to see your course progress. So you can see the chapters in front are locked and the chapters you've completed have a tick on them. Throughout the course, during the video elements, you are not able to actually skip through the course so you do need to watch the video elements. You can, however, replay the course, change the volume of the course, change the playback speed, uh, or enter and exit full screen mode. You can also go to previous chapters or chapters in front which you have completed. At the end of each video chapter, you will get a knowledge check, which is a multiple choice question which will check your knowledge on the content that you've just learned. Click on the right answers to move forward in the course. If you click the wrong answers, you will be moved back in the course to where this answer was talked about. Once you input the correct answer of the knowledge check and submit that, you will be able to pass this and move on to the next chapter. Once you get to the end of the course, you will see a summary screen with a congratulations and uh, you can close your course from here by clicking the close course button. Once you've completed the main course content, this will move you back into the course dashboard where you can see that the assessment quiz has been opened up for you. Click the assessment quiz to begin the quiz. This will then open up the assessment which will ask you questions one after the other. Uh, you can see there is a time limit for this quiz which is usually 15 minutes. Read the question carefully and read the instructions carefully as well. Just tick on the answers that you think are correct and submit answers to move on to the next question. Once you've answered all the questions in the assessment, you can just click Submit Test to complete the test. Learners can then review the answers they've given. On the top left of the screen, you'll see the answers that were correct in green and the answers that were incorrect in red. You can see the past status, uh, the score and the date the course was completed on the top as well. You can scroll down through the questions to see which answers were given correctly and which were given incorrectly. Once you're ready to move on from your test, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the completed let's continue button. This will move you on to our course feedback page where you can give your thoughts on the course. Navigate back to your dashboard to move on to your next course. As mentioned earlier, you may be assigned courses through curricula or learning paths as well. 
Click on the Curricula tab and you'll see the curricula you've been assigned. This module will contain a group of courses. Once all the modules are completed in this, you will have completed the curricula. Learning paths work in a similar way. Click the Learning Paths tab to be taken to the learning path you've been assigned. The difference between this and a curricula is that courses can be grouped together and you will need to complete these courses in the order specified. You can't move on to the Data Protection or Effect Communication 2 course before completing the GDPR for Care Workers course. Through your dashboard, you can also access the Gamification tab on the top right of your screen, which allows you to compete against your colleagues for points earned through logging in and completing courses. Click on one of the options to see your organization's leaderboard. You can even earn badges and can take a look at which badges you can still earn in the future. If you navigate back to your main dashboard, another item on the menu you can access is the calendar feature. Now, the calendar feature you will populate with the training sessions that you have been assigned. Here's a training session for the person-centered care face-to-face -face session. You can navigate to the session by clicking the go to session button or you can add this to your local calendar. So we integrate with a few features such as Google Calendar, Outlook or Teams. So here we'll go to the session. You can see this is the face-to-face -face training session that we've been assigned and it's attached to the person-centered care course. From the menu on the right, you can also access a messages feature. This is where you can contact your admin directly and they can send messages to you. Here we've got Terry. He sent a message to Jenny asking her to take a look at some of the forms attached. Uh, here we can then reply to Terry. Um, we can input files uh, and uh, send the message with the button at the bottom. You can navigate back to messages to see the messages that you've also sent back in response. Here we can see a response from Jenny informing her manager that she has received those messages.